that's that's the joy of it. So, Sammy, your take on the Worlds? It was, uh, that, you know, for the Canadians, it was nice that we were successful, and we uh, <laughs> hope our egos don't get don't get too, too bloated. That we appreciate uh, uh, what we've accomplished, but understand what it takes to maintain that. But what's your thoughts, Sammy, on the Worlds? Well, I think what was really intriguing was the linear linear journey that was similar to what Howie Draper went through, right? So as we were, um, we're always trying to find the story. So the the storyline through the teams and the fact that TSN um, showed 20 games on TV was pretty incredible. And all of the games are ar- archived on video on demand on TSN. So um which is amazing. That's never been done before. So that was really great to be a part of. But the fact that we could see the teams in their journeys through the around Robin has never really happened before. So we got to tell these amazing stories about um, not just the research we had done prior, but what was actually going on throughout the tournament and um, players' ability to improve or adapt to the situations or things like that that we had never really been able to tell before. So that was great. And I would have said throughout the tournament that for sure the U.S., I mean, they look so dominant. It was similar to the U18 championship. And, um, you know, they looked like they were really gelling. They Their lines were really clicking. They were having a great time. Um, they seemed really well coached. Uh, they seemed to really uh, have a lot of respect for John uh, Robaleski um, and he having coached superstar players before at the Michigan Training Center, um, you know, knew what it took at that level. Um, and he seemed to be getting the best from his players. So we were all very impressed with him. We did several features on him. And uh, the players, you know, couldn't say enough about uh, him as a coach. Um, on the Canadian side, it took a while for the girls to click. They, uh, um you know, it was they were struggling and it wasn't an easy journey by any means missing. Um, well, they were missing Natalie Spooner and Melody Diaw and Rebecca Johnson, amongst others, and um, their bestie, Claire Thompson from the last Olympics. So them out of the lineup really kind of created this kind of chaos, getting the new players in and feeling their way. And I would have said from the outside that Troy Ryan um, was scrambling and wasn't, you know, was trying to find lines. Every single game that Canadians showed up with different lines and different line pairings and matching. And um, anyways, it just nothing really, they they were still winning, but they weren't putting up the numbers they had before. And the Olympics, um, according to most sources, were really an, an anomaly. And it's hard to not judge this team against the Olympic team because they were the Canadian team at the Olympics were so dominant and the Americans were not. And so it was, you know, numbers that these players had never put up before, um, you know, uh, scoring records that they had never produced before. Well, now we were trying to match them against that and was the performance up to par. And, um, you know, rather than taking the whole body of their work over the last 10 years, it was hard to not compare them. So regardless, as the um, tournament progressed, it, it became a really fascinating storyline. And were the Canadians going to be able to get it all together and put it together and even compete in the final game? You know, we thought it might be um, one sided. And similar to the U18 championships and Howie Dr- Draper, who came on and spoke to the Sharks group about his journey, just sticking to the process and um, it being about development, uh, development of people as much as the players and the staff. and um, you know, finding the right fit and continuing to have that buy-in. I felt like internally, the Canadians still had that. Um, and I think in the media, we just didn't think they were going to get it together in time. Um, but they did. And they, um, in the end, um, Troy Ryan and his coaching staff prevailed. And it sounded like they had a lot of buy-in from the entire organization. Um but it also, you know, in the end, really came down to goaltending. Um, I will always say that, let's be honest. But this game really did. And I think that 
what it showed was um, that systems and X's and O's and all of that can matter for sure. But like Wally said at the beginning, that buy-in and that sense of belief in self is really powerful. And I think both teams had that. You know, I think that not no discredit to the Americans. I think they had that as well. And then that final game to me, now you have both really well coached teams. And what does it come down to? It came down to goaltending in the end. Um, the Americans had much better chances than the Canadians. Um, but and Rene Debian came up huge. And um that's just kind of the way the cook crumbled in the final game. And um for sure, another day, another time, even another place and that game could have gone the other way but the american canadian women's rivalry never fails to disappoint no matter how lopsided you think it will be going into it there, it is always close in the end and so that was really special to to witness from a storytelling perspective versus being in it and being around it and uh you know living it so um yeah it was an interesting journey wally and it was uh really fun to be a part of and I tried to really uh push myself to not just talk about goaltending or talk about how to score on goalies uh because that's really natural and easy for me and uh one at one point took a stab at the American power play um their pp1 versus pp2 um another time took a stab at um defense rushing and uh jumping into the play uh, so I tried to sort of push myself into areas that are not necessarily my natural forte, but um, yeah, it uh, it doesn't come as naturally or easily, but yeah, it's a, a way to improve myself. And um, so, yeah, in the end, it was a, a really special experience. 